I'm Susan Ashbrook and you're watching Equine VIP. This episode is being brought to you by Baranida Shirts. These classic shirts are going to take you from the tack room to the boardroom. Now we have a very special interview today with the famous Monty Roberts, the man who listens to horses. We're at his Flag is Up Farms. There are people here from all over the world. He's hosting a very special week. Let's go find Monty and hear all about it from him. So Monty, this is a very special week here at Flag is Up Farm. I'm seeing people from all over the country. Why are they here this week? They're from all over the world. All over the world. And it is a special week. It's an incredibly special week. I just had today the heart and soul of the international fraternity of polo players, the Gracita brothers and Joel Baker and all, all those really unbelievable people. We had three 10 goal players. That's just unheard of to have um, those people all in one group. And then we had a um, wonderful group of people from about eight countries in the, in the uh, class itself. And uh, then you came. <laughs> so that made it really special. These people came to learn from you. You're, you're, you're the one that teaches natural horse, horsemanship. And I'd love to hear more. What, how did this start? Well, it started in about 1939. When I was four years of age, I showed my first horse in competition. It's just been uh, a mission that I've been on, brought about by the sight of violence and what I believe to be terribly unacceptable horsemanship. It moved me to be on a mission to see if I could do something to stop down violence in the world of horsemanship and raising children mm -hmm. and dealing with wives and husbands mm -hmm. and countries. Mm -hmm. So I'm on a mission, mm -hmm. uh, simple as that. We watched you work a horse named Trixie today, and she was a handful. Boy, was she. Um, she really called on every uh, attribute that I have in nonviolent training to meet her needs. And she answered the question by being a lot better girl at the end than she was in the beginning. She did. Now, I heard a rumor that Queen Elizabeth actually suggested that you write a book. And that sort of started a chain of books. Is that right? Yep. <laughs> and it's no rumor. It's straight out. Um, she announced to me in front of a lot of people that there must be a book. Period. And I said, Your Majesty, um, I don't know about doing a book. Um, could we just do another video? No. Videos go away. Books are forever. There has to be a book. I wanted to ask you about Shy Boy. He is a really special horse in your life, isn't he? Oh, indeed he is. And uh, certainly when you start in that angle of my life, you get my attention because he is just an absolute gem. Mm -hmm. um, a lovable character, one of the gentlest horses you'll ever meet in your life, and he was a wild Mustang. He's written his own book now. I translated it for him. <laughs> oh, that's it's for great. the kids. That's great. Now, I wanted to also ask you about something new that you've just launched, which is Equus Online University. It multiplies the chance that I have to get my mission to people. How does it do that? Uh, because I'm, I'm creating lessons every week uh, that go up on that university online. And they're conveniently placed so that they can just see them five to seven minutes and go and work with their horse and put it to work for themselves. There's over a hundred lessons in that archive, so they have a whole library of these. And there will be thousands uh, before my time is over. It's so exciting, and I'm meeting kids now in country after country, 
say, I'm on your university. It's so good. Please keep it up for us. That's great. Now I had one more question. I noticed that you, you were using a double halter today. Yeah. Is that something that you recommend? Oh, indeed. The dually halter, um, it's, it's a, a big part of my training techniques and it's so helpful to me and so helpful to so many horses. The dually halter is, uh, yeah, one of the cornerstones of my training. And then I'm constantly working with companies on discovering better ways to do things. Mm -hmm. Nutrition, uh, saddle pads, saddles, all kinds of things, bits. Um, but primarily, um, just with the idea of making it easier, more comfortable, and safer for horses. Well, thank you so much for your time today, Monty, and for being an equine VIP. Thank you.